Hello, Harpeth Valley families. This is Anne Marie Gleason. I am proud to be the principal of Harpeth Valley Elementary. And I'm Andrew Holt, and I'm very excited to be the new assistant principal here at Harpeth Valley Elementary and joining your school community. We are here to share a little bit with you about what virtual learning would look like for our students. We want to be here in person with our students, but right now we want our students to stay safe and healthy. And so that means we will be in the virtual learning environment. So what does virtual learning look like? Metro Nashville Public Schools will use a mixture of synchronous and asynchronous learning. The goal is for students to have about six and a half hours of learning per day, but that six and a half hours is not all live instruction. It includes office hours or meetings with the teacher, live class sessions, independent work on Schoology, as well as small group sessions with the teacher. So let's talk about the two terms that you just heard, synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous instruction is real time instructions with students and their teachers. It's always done through Microsoft Teams and it allows instant feedback to the students and students are able to see their teacher and their classmates in real time. Synchronous can be described as students engaging in course activities at a specific time and date requiring that everyone be online for a scheduled event. The next term is asynchronous instruction. This is instruction that's done at a student's own pace at their own time. It is not a live event and it's always done through Schoology. It still allows for written feedback from the teacher, but it's not immediate. It still includes deadlines, but not real time instruction. Asynchronous can be described as students engaging in course activities at any time, contributing at their own pace. So here's a little graphic that we put together for our two key terms for virtual learning. Synchronous is when you're working synchronously and you are on your computer and in class with your teachers and peers all together. Asynchronous is when you're working in Schoology on your own device without your teacher and peers and you're working at your own pace at your own time. So the technology platforms that we will be using for our virtual learning are for kindergarten, synchronous learning will be through Microsoft Teams and asynchronous learning will be through Flipgrid. For kindergarten through fourth grade, the synchronous learning will be Microsoft Teams and the asynchronous learning will be through Schoology. It will be very important for your child to know their clever username and password. That username and password will allow access to all of the platforms that we will be using for virtual learning. There's a formula to figure out what your students uh, username email and password is. So the student's email and username can be found out by combining the first name of the student, the last initial of last name and last five digits of the student and the email you just add at mnpsk12.org. So the first name, this is the student's first legal name with no nickname. Last initial is the legal last name initial, the first letter of the last name and the last five digits of the student number. This is the student's ID number that starts with 190 and can be found on report cards, progress reports, or anything from MMPS about the student. Most of our students have a number starting with 1901, 1902, or 1903, and they're always nine digits long. If you have trouble finding what your student's um, ID number is, don't hesitate to reach out to the office or your student's homeroom teacher for some help. Now the student's password is another formula that you'll need to put together, and that is the first letter of the first name, uppercase or capitalized, the first letter of the last name, lowercase, and then their birthday in digits. So for example, if my birthday was January the 1st, 2015, the digits would be 010115. Schoology is a platform where you'll be doing or the students will be doing their asynchronous learning. 
Families will receive a parent access code from your homeroom teacher, which will allow you to access your child's work and grades in Schoology. These parent access codes will be emailed to you within the first week of school. Please make sure your homeroom teacher in the school has the most current contact information in order to access Schoology and stay up to date with everything involving virtual learning. We have created a virtual master schedule for Harpeth Valley Elementary. That schedule was created to provide for you, your child, and our teachers predictability, consistency, and simplicity. Each week, each teacher will provide synchronous or live learning opportunities for each of their classes via Microsoft Teams. The schedule should be consistent from week to week and consistent with all teachers on that grade level. The synchronous blocks are not to be filled only with direct teaching. It can be a combination of direct teaching, teacher modeling, class discussions, student practice, and small groups. We have built in breaks to the virtual master schedule to prevent fatigue and during those break times feel free to let your child get up and move around inside or outside. The asynchronous learning opportunities and activities can be completed at any time. They do not have to be completed during the confines of a typical school day, which is eight to three o'clock. They can be done at the family's convenience in working with the family's schedule. Also, we will have our special areas classes 30 minutes each day. That will be art, music, or PE, and those classes will be on a Monday through Friday schedule on a five day rotation. So if your child has art on Mondays, that means that every Monday your child will have art. This is an example of what a first grade student schedule looks like. The day begins with a morning meeting, and that is the same for all of our grade levels, kindergarten through fourth grade, beginning with a morning meeting from 815 to 830. Then this first grade child will have ELA instruction. The ELA stands for English Language Arts. Personalized learning time, we'll talk about that in just a minute. And teacher office hours, those are the three hours per week that your child's teacher is available by appointment to call you or to do a Teams meeting with you or maybe a small group with your child and some other children that need additional assistance. We also have science and social studies built into the schedule and some of the student schedules have a built in lunch time. Now you don't have to abide by that lunch time. That was just a suggestion based on this schedule. And then after that, there's the 30 minutes of related arts and also math. So let's talk about some specialty areas. One is exceptional education. With virtual learning, we're going to be starting continuous learning individualized plans, also known as CLIPS. It's how the IEP, it describes how the IEP will be carried out, but it does not replace the IEP. Students may have slightly different schedules. Schedules will be communicated directly with families. Synchronous and asynchronous learning opportunities will be provided and teachers will be involved in this process. The next is Encore. This is our gifted and talented uh, classes, which is led by our teacher, Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson will meet synchro synchronously with all Encore students weekly. Each session will be about 30 minutes. The curriculum will be uniform and aligned by grade level to be engaging, rigorous, and interdisciplinary while supporting the Tennessee teaching standards. Units will, be in will incorporate problem solving, critical thinking, and creative thinking. In our EL students, Ms. Nolte will be providing daily synchronous and asynchronous learning opportunities. Each EL student will receive one hour of services per day, and services can be provided by co-teaching with the classroom teacher or through pull-out services. Next is our personalized learning time, and that is something that will not begin immediately. Our personalized learning time when we are doing in-person school is where our children change classes and receive individualized instruction based on their current reading and math abilities. More information will be coming about virtual interventions for our students. 
So let's talk about what the first 20 days of school will look like. Our primary focus at the beginning of the year is going to be ensuring that our students are well positioned for success, and that means a couple of things. It includes ensuring students have appropriate technology and they are getting comfortable and gaining confidence in using their technology in using the Schoology program and also Microsoft Teams. There's going to be a strong emphasis on social emotional learning, also known as SEL, to establish and create meaningful relationships with students and staff. So for the first two full weeks of school, the schedule will not look like what um, the virtual master schedule looks like now. It will not be that three to three and a half hours a day of live teaching. For the first two weeks, your child's teacher will reach out to you and set times during that set schedule to meet virtually with your child or with the entire class to get to know them and to build that classroom community. So for the first two weeks, there's gonna be a really heavy emphasis on those SEL activities. And then we'll, we will be moving in the third week of school to more structured, content activities using the Florida Virtual School Curriculum. Also, within the first 20 days, we do plan to have virtual parent orientations either by grade level or by teacher, and the teachers will be reaching out to you within the next few weeks with those dates and times. Computers and hotspots. So thanks to our volunteer faculty members, we have deployed and given out over 350 laptops and hotspots. If there is more than one student in the household, the laptop is being checked out to the oldest sibling. When we receive additional laptops, we will issue a laptop to all siblings as requested. Hotspots are here and available. We are giving out one per family, and that is issued to the youngest sibling. All students will receive a new district issued laptop at some point this year, thanks to the CARES Act. If you would like to request a laptop or hotspot, then please email Ms. Jill in the office, and her email is included in this PowerPoint. So attendance, although we'd love for all of our students to attend every synchronous or live learning event, we understand that that's not always feasible for every family. So our expectation is that the student logs into Schoology every day before 11.59 p.m. in order to be counted present. School, Schoology generates an automatic report to let us know if a student is not logging in and they will be counted absent. If a student is sick or if you know of a future date that you're going to be absent, then please email your child's homeroom teacher and Ms. Tracy in the office for it to be excused. At Harpeth Valley Elementary, we utilize the PBIS program for student behavior, and that is the Positive Behavior and Intervention Supports Program. Those of you who have had children at Harpeth Valley for a while, you know that we are the hound dogs and so we bark. Our student pledge says that we will be safe, act responsibly, respectfully, and kind. So our PBIS committee has created some virtual learning expectations that will help you to help your child be safe, act responsibly, respectfully, and kind in this virtual learning environment. What does it look like to be safe? to stay in one place during learning, to move safely in your space, and to use materials appropriately and when instructed. Acting responsibly, staying in the learning platform that your class is using the whole time, being prepared for learning, asking for help when you need it, and completing and turning assignments in on time. What does it look like to be respectful? to make appropriate comments related to instruction when speaking or typing, listen quietly while others are speaking, follow directions the first time, stay muted unless it is your turn to speak, and kind, waiting your turn to speak and using kind words when speaking or typing comments. So we are gonna have a virtual dress code our virtual learning dress code expectations are that students to wear a shirt and bottoms with appropriate coverage. Pajamas, vulgar, violent, or inappropriate language or content on clothing is not permitted. 
So now we have some next steps and important dates. August 4th is the first day of school and each teacher will have some type of social emotional learning activity live for their students on that first day of school. August the 6th is a teacher planning day, so there will not be instruction or connection between students and teachers on that day. And then looking ahead to the week of August the 10th, we will have a special drive through times for your families by grade level to come and pick up information packets as well as school supplies. So we will send information to you about that soon. In closing, we know that this is a new experience for all of us, for students, parents, and staff. We know that we do not have all of the answers right now, but we will be happy to work hard to find them for you, your child, and your child's teacher. During this virtual learning time, we are going to try things and succeed, and we are gonna try things and make mistakes, but we will learn from those mistakes. Our best efforts tomorrow will be better than our best efforts today. I also have to say that there is no other faculty as dedicated as our Harpeth Valley Elementary School faculty. By the same token, there is no other group of parents as committed to their children's success as the parents and caregivers at Harpeth Valley Elementary. Our goal during this virtual time and during any time is to serve and support you so that we can make this learning the best possible experience for our Harpeth Valley Hound Dogs. Parents, caregivers, we are on this journey together. We love your child, we care about you, and we are here to support you. Please know that we as a Harpeth Valley faculty and a Harpeth Valley community are embracing this challenge together and we will make it the best possible experience for our students. Thank you.